In my opinion, Tesla cannot take responsibility for stupid people. It's just that simple. And yet, it still is a common debate these days if Tesla's misusing the term autopilot and enabling people to act stupid on the freeway. And I've dealt with a lot of copyright strikes over the past year, so I'm not really going to be showing footage of this in today's video, but you guys can look for yourselves, especially if you're somewhat aware of Tesla and EVs. You've seen the videos of people asleep in their Tesla as it drives them down on the freeway. Countless people have dangerously and ironically filmed people as they're driving and trying to record someone asleep at the wheel, potentially being more dangerous than the person asleep at the wheel anyway, but either one is bad, okay? And if you know anything about autopilot, you know you are not supposed to just fall asleep or look away from the road and keep your hand barely on the wheel or put a water bottle or an orange on the wheel and make sure that it keeps going and then just go ahead and go back to sleep. And and the scary but somewhat not so scary thing about these autopilot videos that have been floating around the internet and more and more and more are being spotted by the month is that usually, usually here, uh, the videos do not end in a crash. If anything, the video will typically just end or the person recording it will honk and wake the person up and then they take control of the wheel. However, there have been instances of people falling asleep at the wheel and autopilot crashing because of course, you know, it's still beta software, it's not specific designed to always avoid a collision. It's just going to do the very best it can, but still, intentionally, from the get-go, when you turn on autopilot, it repeatedly tells you, keep your hands on the wheel, keep your eyes on the road, and be prepared to take control over the vehicle at any time. Now, it's very easy to play the blame game here, because on one hand, I could totally agree and say, hey, Tesla shouldn't allow you to do that, they should force you to pay attention, and maybe just keeping your hand on the steering wheel is not enough, and it's enabling all of these stupid people to think that it's okay for them to just sit in the driver's seat and take a nap and let the car do all the work for them. But honestly, I don't really have that opinion on the subject because I feel like there's so many disclosures and there's so many disclaimers when you first turn on autopilot that you should know. And the people doing this are probably aware that they're breaking the rules or not using autopilot properly, which is why I don't believe this is Tesla's fault. I believe truly there will always be dumb people that abuse features in ways that they're not supposed to in that could potentially endanger others. The question is, how far does Tesla go to make sure their products are foolproof? And I do mean that as in, like, even a fool, even an idiot, could get behind the wheel of a Tesla and not potentially endanger others. At the end of the day, there's always going to be a certain level of risk because this is a vehicle. You know, thousands and thousands of pounds moving very, very quickly down roadways, and no matter what safety precautions you put in place, there is always going to be that risk of danger, depending on how stupid the driver is or how unpredictable the road is around it. And also, if they catch you not interfering with the car and letting it stay on autopilot for long periods of time and you don't intervene, it will just flat out turn off autopilot for the rest of the trip. So, in my opinion, Tesla does quite a few things to ensure that you pay attention and makes it very well known that if you abuse autopilot, you do not get to experience its perks. It puts you into autopilot jail, per se, if you're not grabbing the wheel and not paying attention enough. At the same time, though, part of me does wonder if some people out there are smart enough in using autopilot in the correct ways, could they allow them to not have to deal with the nags and not have to keep their hands on the steering wheel? You know, of course, they'd have to go through all the legal jargon and make sure, you know, you can't sue Tesla for anything that the vehicle does, but for those who are willing to take the risks, could Tesla enable them to just sit there, let the car drive, and you don't have to hold on to the steering wheel? I'm the type of person that would try to sign up for that. You know, I would take full responsibility if anything happened. And while it would sound pretty great for those like verified or maybe after a certain number of miles driven with autopilot, Tesla considers you safe enough and then lets you not keep your hands on the wheel. As much as I would love that, it's probably a bad idea. And the reason Tesla isn't going to do it is because if people do start abusing the feature after they get verified or whatever, then it doesn't even matter if the driver is the one at fault. Even if the driver is the dummy that decided to jump out of the driver's seat and get in a car crash, that's a bad look on Tesla, and they likely want to protect their reputation and make it so that they don't look really bad. If a bunch of Teslas are crashing because they were on autopilot,
pilot and the media is running with that, it's not a good look and Tesla would not be happy about that. So I can totally get why they don't allow you to turn those nagging features off. And I think personally, Tesla is doing all they can to ensure that people are not falling asleep behind the wheel between making sure that there's a certain amount of engagement on the steering wheel. And if they detect that you're not grabbing the steering wheel for a long enough period of time and you don't respond to the nags, it'll just turn off autopilot for the rest of the trip. You have to go into park again before autopilot's even available. So they're really putting you in autonomy jail of some kind. And with those features in place, I really do feel like the people who are falling asleep behind the wheel are aware of the risk and are aware of the dangers they're putting themselves and others in and simply don't care, which is again, why they're stupid and somehow able to fall asleep in that comfortable position with their hand on the steering wheel. And not saying this is a good thing, but I am kind of impressed that a lot of the videos we see of people asleep at the wheel with Teslas don't end in crashes because the car, you know, it is driving and I would much rather be behind the wheel of a Tesla with autopilot turned on falling asleep than I would behind the wheel of any other car falling asleep, which would likely drive straight off the road. And obviously sleeping behind the wheel is bad in any situation. But sometimes I wonder, you know, is the reason a lot of people are falling asleep behind the wheel of a Tesla because they know autopilot is so good and because their mind is relaxed and not having to worry about steering or braking or accelerating. The car is so fun and easy to drive, especially with autopilot turned on, that that makes it easier to fall into a sleep because your brain's not really using that much energy and you're not really thinking very much. You're just kind of along for the ride. So is it possible that Tesla and autopilot is actually encouraging people to fall asleep unintentionally versus a normal car, which obviously people still fall asleep in, but perhaps with the normal braking and accelerating and steering, you're less likely to fall asleep. So it's kind of a double-edged sword there, but ultimately I do stand on Tesla's side of things because I think they're doing everything they can with the hardware available in the vehicle to make sure that you're paying attention, to make sure that you know the risks and you have to agree to all these terms before turning autopilot on. The Tesla should not get the blame for anything these idiots online have been seen doing. And no matter how many fail safes Tesla puts in place, someone will probably always find some other way to crack the system and use it in an improper manner. Just like you can misuse cruise control if you want to. That doesn't make it the fault of the brand. And like I said at the beginning of the video, Tesla cannot take responsibility for all the idiots that drive their cars. There's one thing I could leave you with in today's video is do not drive sleepy, whether you're in a Tesla or not. Please be safe out there. Understand you're risking your own life and the others around you. And autopilot is no excuse. Just because the car is able to somewhat drive itself until Tesla officially rolls out feature complete full self-driving, I don't think you should be falling asleep behind the wheel. And even if they do roll out feature complete full self-driving, you probably shouldn't fall asleep behind the wheel until it's been out and proven to be safe for many, many years and Tesla starts saying, yes, you can. But so far, despite a lot of haters out there, Tesla has never once said that you can turn on autopilot and look away from the road or take your hands off the steering wheel. They've never said that, so I hope people out there can understand that's not the way you use the vehicle. Let me know what you guys think of autopilot and how it impacts safety. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.